Chiefs or Niners? Joe Biden's presidential campaign account on TikTok garnered more than 90,000 followers in the first two days since joining on Super Bowl Sunday. The Chinese-owned social media app is a regular source of news for about a third of U.S. adults under 30, according to Pew Research. And the Biden campaign's move to get their political messaging across to that demographic doesn't come as a surprise to some analysts. If you look at polling, uh, there's been dramatic decreases in youth support uh, compared for Biden compared to Trump. So this is, I think, one of their stronger tools to reach that group. China-related security and surveillance concerns led the Biden administration to ban the use of the TikTok app on government-owned devices last year. The former head of U.S. Cyber Command outlined some of those concerns during a congressional hearing last March. TikTok concerns me in, for a number of different reasons. One is the, the data that they have. Secondly is the algorithm and the control. Who has the algorithm? Third is the, the broad platform. It's not only the fact that you can influence something, but you can also you know, turn off the message as well. Some lawmakers have questioned the Biden campaign's decision to join TikTok, including the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Democratic Senator Mark Warner. I think that we still need to find a way to follow in real, which is prohibited TikTok. So I'm a little worried about a mixed message. Republican Senator Josh Hawley took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to criticize Biden for joining what he called a Chinese spy app, despite banning it on federal devices. White House National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby had this to say during Monday's White House briefing. There are still national security concerns about the use of TikTok on government devices, and there's been no change to our policy. The Biden campaign states their presence on TikTok is independent from a review by the Interagency Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States that is weighing a nationwide ban of the app. For its part, the Chinese foreign ministry says there is no proof of foul play and condemns the moves to restrict the app. Your TikTok's CEO, Xi si Chu, denies he or his company have any links to the Chinese Communist Party and has repeatedly told Congress that his company is improving the platform's security mechanisms. Making sure that we're protecting and firewalling U.S. user data from unwanted foreign access. The average TikTok user is not that worried, says UCLA professor Tim Growling. I've had a student say this almost verbatim. There are over a billion users of TikTok. Why would they care about my data? Um, what what do I have that's at risk? And, you know, in the aggregate, the, the answer is there's there's quite a bit of risk. The Biden campaign affirms it is taking advanced safety precautions around the devices they use to post content on TikTok and plan to continue expanding their online influencer network. Veronica Valeras Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.